Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! Are you ready to learn some Christmas-related idioms? These expressions are specifically related to the holiday season, just adding a touch of festive cheer to your Christmas conversations. After introducing each idiom, I'll give you a moment to think about its meaning. See if you can crack the code before I tell you a bit more about these expressions. So, are you ready to go? Then let's get started. Idiom number one. Christmas came early this year. What do you think this means? Your time starts now. Any idea? Let me tell you. Christmas came early this year means to experience something positive and unexpected usually before the moment you initially thought it would happen. As in, whoa, they finished building this new playground already? I guess Christmas came early this year. It is not exactly clear how old this idiom is, but it likely originates from the fact that Christmas is often associated with joy and gifts. So when something good happens unexpectedly, People use this phrase to show that it puts them in a happy, Christmas-like mood. Time for idiom number two. Like turkeys voting for an early Christmas. Any idea about the meaning of this idiom? Your time starts now. Did you figure out what this expression means? If not, let me help you out. Like turkeys, voting for an early Christmas means making choices that seem good at first but end up causing problems later on. For example, did those kids sell their books before they took the test? That's like turkeys voting for an early Christmas. This idiom probably originated from the fact that Christmas is a time of happiness and celebration. In the same way, turkeys might choose to celebrate this holiday early without realizing it could be a bad idea since they'd likely be the ones ending up on people's dinner plates. Let's move on to idiom number three. To be there with bells on. Do you know what this idiom tells us? Your time starts now. So what do you think this idiom means? Allow me to explain. To be there with bells on means to be very excited and eager to take part in an event or activity. It suggests a high level of enthusiasm and anticipation. For example, if someone asks you if you'll be there for tonight's party, you might answer, oh for sure, I'll be there with bells on. This phrase likely comes from the tradition of adding bells to anything to make it more festive, indicating a joyful and celebratory mood. Just think about the jolly sound of bells jingling, like this. Now if that doesn't sound festive, I don't know what does. Next one, idiom number four, the more the merrier. So what does this Christmassy idiom mean? Your time starts now. The more the merrier means that things are happier and more fun when more people or things are involved. It's like saying having lots of friends at a party makes it more enjoyable. For example, did you invite everyone for the game night? Awesome, the more the merrier. Though this is a pretty well-known English idiom, its exact origin is a bit challenging to pinpoint. However, it has been in use for several centuries and likely evolved over time in the English language. So when someone tells you, the more the merrier, they'll probably be very much okay with you bringing other people to their party. Sounds like fun. And that brings us to the final one, idiom number five. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. So what could this phrase refer to? Your time starts now. Did you get it? Let's see. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle means not to get overly worried or stressed about something. 
It's like saying, don't let small problems or challenges spoil your fun. For example, did you forget to bring your homework to school? Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. We'll figure it out together. This saying likely comes from the festive holiday tradition of decorating with tinsel during Christmas. In case you're wondering, this is what tinsel looks like. Just like you wouldn't want your decorations to be messy and tangled, you also wouldn't want to create unnecessary stress. Therefore, this idiom encourages us to stay calm and positive. And that's it. Five Christmas-related idioms. I hope you've learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more exciting content, and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss an update. See you next time. Happy Holidays!